Hello, uh, this is fast introduction to timing solution software. In this video class we will learn how to download the price history, how to calculate aspects, how to calculate planetary lines, and also I want to show you how to calculate and verify the simplest projection lines like uh, annual cycle or moon synodic cycle. Ok, let's start. The first thing we have to do is download the price history. One user asked me how to download price history for com co co commodity futures. Ok, firstly, there are free financial uh, services. Quondle and Yaha, they provide a lot of uh, financial information, it's free, but mostly this is end-of-day data, no intraday. Um, I recommend to check this video class, Timing Solution website, and in book video section there is special class, download financial, economical and other information through internet, Yaha Quondle. And uh, I have explained in details how to download price history through internet. Ok, and uh, if you need inter intraday real-time streaming, in this case you need uh, e-signal services, but uh, you need to have subscription for this service. Ok, let's download the price history through, uh, through Quondle Financial Services, it's free. Uh, I run Time in Solution and uh, click this small button, you see this small button, downloading through internet with Globe, Globe Brief. Ok, I have clicked it. You see, uh, there is a symbols library and uh, there are a lot of uh, different financial instruments here. Uh, there are some dozen of futures. For example, let's download the price history for corn futures. We'll download continuous data because we need a long price history to calculate a projection line. It, we need as, as much price history as it possible. Ok, I have chosen this symbol. Click choose symbol. Click download data. It's it's downloading now. Wait a bit. Almost done. Uh, okay. Click OK. You see, the program asks the exchange location. In our case, in the Chicago Board of Trade, this is Chicago. Set Chicago. Okay, it's done. And you see this flashing sign. It means that there are some corrupted records in this data. Uh, I recommend to click autocorrect and uh, it will fix automatically. Usually it works very, go very good, very stable. Click OK and click calculate button. We are ready for work. OK. Uh, firstly, let's calculate aspects. Uh, to calculate aspect, we will use universal language of events model. Here it is. Universal language of events. U -le. U L E button. Uh, you see, there are a lot of options here. We can call it planetary position in different signs of zodiacs, planets direct retrogrades, midpoints, uh, speed, whatever. Uh, in our case, we will calculate aspects between planets. Okay, uh, set here planets, planets, no moon because otherwise it will be a lot of aspects. Planets, more planets. So. And uh, now it will calculate the conjunction between planets. But we need uh, five uh, major aspects. Uh, opposition, trine, square, and uh, sextile. Uh, or we click this button, major. OK. And uh, next step we calculate... Uh, oh, sorry. Major. It is. And uh, we will calculate, uh, not in orb, we calculate um, culminations. And click calculate. So it's calculating. Uh, look at this. What we have here. There are this culmination for aspects. We want to see these aspects. Click mark events. This check this mark events option, and maybe increase font size. You see, we can see when these aspects work. Okay, now we will cal calculate uh, perennial planetary lines, but uh, mm, there are too many aspects, let's disable them so far. Click right mouse button, main window view, and you see main ULE. We can display these aspects in separate panel, like this, or we can display them uh, together with uh, price chart, or we can uh, do not display them, no draw. Okay, we have disabled um, aspects. 
for some time. And now we will calculate um, planetary lines. Click this button. You see this button, planetary lines. You see sun, sun. We will calculate planetary lines for sun positions. Uh, sun position. Uh, you see only uh, one planetary lines. Three planetary lines. In this case, I recommend to set more detailed scale, like set it uh, one degree corresponds uh, ten cents of price movement. And you see, we have uh, we got more detailed planetary lines. Now we can click this button and set send these planetary lines into planetary lines box. Now we calculate another planetary lines, like uh, for example, it will be angle separation between. Sun, uh, uh, Venus and uh, Sun, or Venus or Jupiter, or let's calculate planetary line for um, let's say it will be Saturn position. By the way, we can use uh, this button. You can set Mercury planetary lines, Venus, 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 Saturn. Oh, sorry, yeah. This is uh, change the color for Saturn planetary lines. Here it is. You see this uh, black planetary lines, this is uh, Saturn position planetary lines. Red, this is um, Sun. Uh, we can use different zodiacs, for example, this is uh, planetary lines for uh, Saturn in heliocentric position. Okay, and send this planetary lines into planetary lines box 2. You can uh, add as many planetary lines as we need. Okay, here, here they are. Next step, I want to show you how to calculate uh, the um, simple projection line. Uh, let's um, disable planetary lines for some time. We can simply click uh, set this option off. Clicking this button, you will run planetary lines window. So we will open it. Here it is. We'll minimize it, and we will open it once again. Okay. This. Uh, uh, Display, no display. Okay, we will calculate uh, now the annual cycle for corn futures. Click astronomy button. You see sun sun. This is projection line based on sun position. In other words, this is annual cycle for uh, corn futures. Uh, we can check uh, how this um, cycle worked in the past. Uh, what else? Uh, you can uh, we can click in this button. You can display this projection line together with uh, price chart, or uh, you can display it in a separate panel. Uh, click this button. I open astronomy composite model, and now uh, we want to know how reliable this project uh, this projection line is. How we can trust it. In order to do that, I recommend to run Volk Forward Analysis for this cycle. Click this button, VWFA. Click. Uh, it takes some time to calculate. Let's wait a bit. Okay, almost done. By the way, uh, uh, in the class section, you will find a detailed explanation how to read a walk forward analysis report. This is walk forward analysis report. You see, uh, these red uh, bars corresponds the periods when uh, when this cycle, annual cycle, uh, worked well, very well. It means uh, you see a lot of uh, red lines, uh, red uh, red uh, bars. It means that uh, this cycle mostly works very well. Uh, this uh, parameter is called walk forward efficiency. It's how many, um, how per, uh, no, percentage of uh, red um, bars, uh, seventy percent. Or you can uh, check uh, this uh, summary. It tells that uh, this cycle looks promising. So stati statistical significance is just square. It's uh, four. It's very good significance. So this is good cycle. Yep, we can use it. Uh, I minimized this window, and now I want to. Uh, Display it this way, and now I want to show one more. Uh, I want to calculate one more cycle. Cycle uh, moon synodic cycle. A moon synodic cycle. This is uh, the same as moon uh, phase cycle. This is angle separation between moon and sun. So now click astronomy button once again, and let's set here 
um, angle separation between sun and moon. Here is moon. Moon and sun. It's calculated. You see this projection line. This is um, in separate panel. This is a moon synodic cycle. Let's change the color for this cycle. Let it will be. Uh, let it be blue. You see, this is annual cycle, this is moon synodic cycle. The same way we can calculate as many cycles uh, as uh, we need. Uh, the last thing I want to show you, uh, this, uh, this button. You see this small button. Clicking this button, small button, this um, uh, disk icon, you will save your work, my work, into timing solution worksheet. In other, in other words, when you uh, close your computer and next day open your computer, you can simply click this button, another button, so, and open your work. My work. My work. The program downloads the price history, download, uh, will download uh, your models, planetary lines, and uh, composite everything. And uh, the one more thing I want to show you. If you want to download the price history through uh, e-signal, do this way. Click this button. Click this more. Firstly, we need to run uh, e-signal data manager. Click it. And uh, now from e-signal. Uh, corner, this is C, uh, continuous data. This. Now it will load uh, uh, 1000 bar, it's this approximately 4 years uh, daily data for corn futures. Here there. Or if you need um, intraday, uh, real time, you can set a, a small, smaller bar like 1 minute, 5 minutes, whatever. That's it, thank you.